Louis Riel, considered a hero and the founder of Manitoba, fought tirelessly for the rights of the Métis Nation and paid the ultimate sacrifice for his people. He was born on October 22, 1844, in St. Boniface on the Red River Settlement, at the forks of the Red and Assiniboine Rivers. His father, Jean-Louis Riel, led the Métis resistance against the Hudson Bay Company's trade monopoly in 1849. His mother was a devout Catholic who would imbue Riel with an intense sense of piety. They had 12 children. In 1858, at only 13 years old, Louis left home for the Collège de Montréal. When Riel returned to the Red River in 1868, Canada was preparing to annex the Northwest. It planned to transfer control of Rupert's land from the Hudson's Bay Company to the Dominion of Canada. Without consulting the Métis, Canada sent surveyors and passed the Temporary Government of Rupert's Land Act, which would deprive the Métis of their land rights and their voting rights. The Métis chose to resist Canada's premature assertion of jurisdiction. Riel led a mounted patrol that stopped the surveyors who were intent on redrawing lots in the Red River settlement. This was the beginning of the Red River resistance. Riel gave rousing speeches to convince his fellow Métis to form the Comité National des Métis, based on the paramilitary government of the Buffalo Hunt. In mid-October, the Métis erected a roadblock to prevent the Lieutenant Governor-designate from entering the Red River settlement. Two weeks later, the Métis seized Upper Fort Garry. On December 8, 1869, a provisional government was formed, comprised of English and French-speaking Métis, and headed by Riel. They drew up a list of rights outlining the conditions under which the region would enter Confederation. Following the entry of Manitoba into Confederation, Riel stood for election to federal parliament. In 1873, he won his seat in the riding of Provencher, Manitoba. A month before Riel won the seat, a warrant was issued for his arrest for allowing the 1870 execution of Thomas Scott, a Protestant orangeman who defied Riel's provisional government. Shortly after, John A. Macdonald's government fell. In February 1874, in the ensuing general election, Riel won his seat a second time. Despite the warrant for his arrest, Riel came to Ottawa took the oath of loyalty to the Sovereign, and signed the test roll. In reaction, a majority of MPs voted to expel him from the House of Commons. Riel was elected a third time in the September 1874 election. He did not attempt to travel to Ottawa, since by this time he was considered an outlaw. Although elected three times, he was never able to take his seat in the House of Commons. When the government finally granted Riel amnesty in 1875, it was conditional on banishment from Canada for five years. Aside from a couple of brief hospital stays in Quebec, he exiled himself among his Métis brethren in the United States. Louis Riel settled in Montana Territory, where he lived among other Métis people, married a Métis woman, became an American citizen and a schoolteacher. They had three children, one of whom died in childbirth. In 1884, Riel's leadership was sought again in what became known as the Northwest Rebellion. Between the increasing number of settlers flooding the area, an ever-dwindling land base, railway projects, and the decline of bison, relations between the Métis and the Canadian government were reaching a boiling point. Repeated pleas to the government were ignored. A delegation of four representatives, including Gabriel Dumont, went to Montana to ask Riel to once again champion the rights of the Métis. Riel arrived in Batoche in 1884. 
Despite his peaceful efforts, Ottawa continued to ignore Métis demands. Riel resorted once again to forming a provisional government in an effort to force Ottawa to negotiate. In response, Prime Minister Macdonald sent in the troops. After initial successes against the Northwest Mounted Police at Duck Lake and the Canadian militia at Fish Creek, the Métis ran out of bullets and were defeated at the Battle of Batoche on May 12, 1885. Riel left Batoche and voluntarily surrendered to the Canadian military on May 15th with the hope of using his trial as a political platform. Louis Riel was formally charged with treason on July 6th. On July 20th, 1885, his trial began in Saskatchewan, which was yet to become a Canadian province. The case was purposely tried according to Her Majesty's British law in the Northwest Territories, rather than the law of Riel's home province, Manitoba. During the trial, arguably one of the most famous in Canadian history, Riel was reduced to silence. His court-appointed lawyers mounted a defense that brought Riel's sanity into question. On the two occasions Riel was allowed to speak in his own defense, he ardently defended the cause of his people and proved that his sanity was intact. Riel was found guilty of treason and sentenced to hang. Although the jury pleaded for clemency, and despite the public outcry in Quebec, Macdonald was determined to see Riel hang. On November 16, 1885, the Canadian state carried out the execution of Louis Riel. Today, Louis Riel is remembered as the father of Manitoba, heroic defender of Métis rights and martyr of the Métis nation. I have nothing but my heart and I have given it long ago to my country.